So uh, hello again. Uh, my name is Ushko Vori. I'm marketing manager in Weiler, at Weiler Abrasives uh, EMEA. Welcome to Weiler Wednesday webinar, uh, where we are always uh, talk about uh, best solutions in cutting and grinding. So today, my colleague, Marko Grishonik, who is our product manager, will uh, lead us through cases in uh, spring and grinding. The webinar will last around 30 minutes and uh, it's being recorded as always and will be published on our web page. So before we jump uh, to the content, let me shortly explain some Zoom tips, although we are all now very well aware of. Uh, so uh, before, so uh, let me shortly explain. Uh, so their all lines have been muted. Uh, so this is just to prevent any background noise. We will use additional functions throughout the webinar like chat. So to give you the possibility to win a present. So you will submit your uh, right answers in the chat function. Then uh, there is an icon for the questions and answers. And to please submit any question or a comment or whatever would you like to say to this, um, use this icon questions and answers, but note that all the uh, answers will then be given at the end of the presentations. Um, at the end, we will also use a poll question. So when you see a poll pop up on your screen, uh, we encourage you uh, to participate with your answers. Uh, we have uh, noticed in some previous uh, webinars that some are using uh, this raised hand icon. Please note that this icon is not active. So whatever would you like to say, comment, question, please, please use questions and answers uh, icon. Uh, next, I would like to uh, visit you, visit um, us online. So uh, the vileropresives.com web page, uh, which is a full range of information about our solutions, about our products and about our company. So recently we have opened uh, also uh, new uh, social media profiles on Facebook and on Instagram. And uh, please uh, visit us, follow us and uh, check our regular uh, posts. Uh, next, I would like to show you uh, our uh, new uh, Viler Abrasives group uh, corporate video. So I it will take you uh, four to five minutes. And uh, I would like to ask you for some attention to attention and let's, um, let's uh, see this uh, corporate video. Hi, I'm Chris Weiler and I'm the CEO here at Weiler Abrasives Group. The heritage of Weiler dates back to 1898 when my great grandfather uh, was a partner in a brush making company in Germany. And I think he would be amazed to see the growth that the company has gone through in that time. Hi, I'm Bill Dwyer. I'm the Managing Director of the Americas at Weiler Abrasives. Today, Weiler Abrasives Group has five facilities in North America, South America, and Europe. So we're well positioned to deal with multinationals and provide solutions in local markets around the world. And we think we do that differently because we're a mid-sized company that has the capability of the market leaders, very broad abrasive capability, but we're able to apply that at a local level in a flexible and fast way to drive solutions with both end users and distributors. My name is David Young. I'm the president of business with their reputation and with the quality of their products. It gives us a great avenue to sell more. I'm Christina Matos, sales and marketing analyst for Weiler Braces. Our mission is to show our customers they can trust us. They're partnering with us. We are providing a solution for their everyday needs. And when we come together and create something new, it's just amazing. I'm Rock Mezgetz, Director of Supply Chain and R&D at Weiler EMEA. My responsibility is driving innovation by embracing change to improve our products and our processes. R&D co-workers have deep technical knowledge of abrasive products, gathered with experience in abrasive and surface conditioning industries. Weiler has a world-class laboratory equipment that helps us recognizing top material quality and manufacturing process stability. Those will deliver a value-added product and the right performance-based solutions to meet our end-user surface conditioning needs. I am Igor Mesarec and I am Head of Technology at Weiler Abrasive Group. With the automatic production process, we gain a high level of repeatability. 
This is uh, reflecting in the performance and the quality of our products. Our partnership with Weiler is not just one of them bring us a, a known product. We allow them to come up with innovative ideas and be able to trial them with us. They're helping us build efficiency by getting us quicker grind times, getting us a wheel that not only cuts, but doesn't disintegrate as it's cutting. They increased our throughput by at least 50% and saved over $100,000 in cost. Knowing that our products are impacting industries, manufacturing process, and lives of people around the world, that's a fantastic feeling. Partnership at Weiler means a number of things. It starts with a hassle-free experience, ensuring that our products get to our customers on time, correct every time. It's also about having a strong direct support out in the field. This is making sure that our salespeople and application experts really show up at the end user, understanding products, understanding applications, and providing great solutions. Hi, I'm Rick Hopkins from Weiler Abrasives. I'm the Senior Product Manager of Metal Fabrication. When I talk to an end user about what products they're using, by having the opportunity to work with them and talk to them very directly about how these products are designed to be used, we're able to show them the ways that they can get more out of them. Because the reality is, if you first start with using the product safely and as it's designed, you can't help but notice a performance benefit and then ultimately that can lead to cost savings. We lead in the field with technical selling and, and we get great support from Weiler in that regard. Their people are tops at, at solving application problems in the metalworking industry and, uh, and working together with them, it's, it's just a, a formula for success. It's uh, really exciting to get up every morning and be part of a global company and know that you are creating solutions for end users in all sorts of different industries, applications. They really try to bring in their innovative ideas and their resources that they have globally to make you successful. Weiler has good price points in the marketplace, a broad product line, excellent brand recognition, and people who are very passionate about what they do. And they're a great business partner. You should want Weiler to work for you. Weiler will change the way you think about abrasives and give you a competitive edge. Hey, thank you very much for uh, watching. So I would also like to, before I give over the words to Marco, I would like to point out safety, uh, safety first, uh, which is a very important uh, thing to us. So we are members of uh, several associations, for example, like OSA and PEPA. This is uh, OSA is for uh, Organization for Safety of Abrasives. We also have uh, the ISO uh, certificate, the quality standard, and we are active members of several associations in um, different countries, for example, like in Germany, VDFE, uh, associations for spring industry, and also in Italy, ANSEM. So, uh, because safety is very important uh, for our products um, further. So, now uh, we are done with intro, and uh, we can give over the word to Marco. Marco, please take over. Hey, I'm Marco, and I'm at Weiler responsible for spring and grinding wheels. Uh, today, we will spend 15 minutes together where I would like to share out of the box Weiler solution for spring and grinding. Okay, let's jump on to see, see what we prepare for you today. In the first part, I will present which shapes are standard used for grinding sp uh, springs and how to determine the grain size based on the wire size. In the second part, I will present our products for spring and grinding and uh, two case studies. Uh, I would like that our 15 minutes, uh, 15 minutes be, be interactive and you can interpret, interpret me for questions. Okay, let's start off with the technical uh, things. The main forms for springs and grinding are 35 and 36. Uh, from 35, uh, form 35 is a glued one, what means we glue it to the flange and form 36 is a screwed uh, one, what means we fasten the flange uh, with screws. In our produ production, we produce wheels ra ranking in size from 115 millimeters to 1000 millimeters. 
but in my exper experience, we rotated the most between 300 to 1,000 uh, millimeters outside diameters. Uh, the most common machines with which we with which grind spring are from the following manufacturers that uh, two ones from Germany is Storn and Waffios, uh, two ones from Italy, OMD and Kamatech and Bennett Male. Um, on this side is a, a table which we pres uh, prepared according to our experience. It shows which grain size to use for which uh, wire diameter size. And from uh, 0.8 to 1.2, we use uh, 36 grain size for three millimeters to six millimeters. We use uh, 30 uh, uh, grain size and from 16 to 22, we use uh, 16 uh, grain size. Um, the larger is the diameter of the wire, the coarser is the grain. But in agreement with the customers, we determine, determine the grain according to the application uh, by the customers. But uh, let, uh, let, uh, let this be reserved for when I visit you. And uh, here is our ice spring. I can say one of the best spring uh, grinding uh, wheel. Uh, what can you expect from this wheel is increased, increased uh, productivity to shorter grinding cycle extremely cool grinding process, um, less dressing, advanced uh, self-sharpening uh, consistency of the grinding process and very good is uh, this wheel for stainless steel and chrome silica, but it's also good on the other materials. Uh, the first case study, uh, what I present is for wheel 660 um, uh, millimeter uh, diameter spring and we successfully done the test on the OMD machine and an inox material of chrome silica and a wire diameter 3.1 and uh, we improved by the customers the uh, total cycle time we reduced this for more than 30 percent we have just one dressing per shift and uh, lower wheel wear per one cycle and uh, of this, we increase, increased uh, wheel lifetime. Please show the video. Uh, the video shows a dressing process. And here you can see the wheel was very co constantly on the, in, the, um, in the process of sprinkling, uh, sprinkling grinding. Nicola, here you can see what a small change in parameters means in the end result, results of uh, the applications. In testing, we achieved the goal of reducing the grinding cycle time from 167 to 124 seconds. It means we have raised the productivity. And uh, please take the time to make an appointment for testing and uh, we can also optimize the grinding process for you. Okay, it's already uh, time to make a short uh, pause for a webinar giveaway. So um, the next slide, please. Okay, so the first attendee that will include the right answer in the chat uh, function. So please use the chat function, will win the Weiler HD camera. And if you are paying close attention for, uh, to Marco, what was Marco explaining, uh, the question is, so which grain size is used for grinding wire diameter three to six uh, millimeters? Please uh, submit your answers in the chat function and we will announce the winner at, uh, at the end of the presentation. Thank you. Back to Marco. Thank you, Urka. Uh, okay, and this slide, um, I will present our wheel for big spring. It's our extra, uh, we call extra, but uh, F, we uh, grinding uh, with this wheel the big springs and extra big springs. Uh, the advantages of this wheel are minimal dressing frequency, minimal grinding pressure, consistency of the grinding process, same specification <clears throat> for all of types material. 
The second uh, case study shows, shows successful improvement of the grinding process with the uh, extra wheel. The test was performed on the OMD machine 100 is one of the biggest machine uh, for spring end grinding. Uh, we, are, we, are, we improved the grinding cycle by more than 20% on the wire 28 to 31 millimeters. Uh, the customer has a shorter production lead time, uh, just one dressing per cycle. And end of the day, we had the customer has had uh, lower wheel wear. Um, and uh, so I also have one question for you. Um, uh, what do you oh, value most? Lead time, price, performance, uh, technical support. Uh, please submit your answer to pool. Okay. I would also like to present what we expect uh, on the field. Uh, what we uh, expect on the field of spring and grinding in the future. And uh, when we're testing together, we can um, achieve new goals. And uh, for the future, we can present uh, ice spring generation free and uh, two layers uh, wheel. But uh, in the ice spring generation free is our goal in more increased lifetime, continuous wear and less changes. And in two layers wheel, we have extremely cold grinding and effective of self sharpening and for very high productivity uh, machines. Uh, thank you for your attention, and I hope you took something new uh, out of this webinar. Okay, thank you, Marco. Uh, we were quite quick today. Uh, so thank you, Marco, for your presentation. So before we jump into the questions and answers, uh, I would like to announce the winner of the giveaway. And the winner is uh, Mr. Peter Bitter. Uh, thank you very much for all to participate. And Mr. Peter, we will contact you regarding the shipment details. So uh, now is the time uh, to submit uh, if you have any questions. So please uh, use the question and answer icon. So anything connected to the spring end grinding for Marco, uh, we are available uh, to answer your uh, questions. Okay. So we will see, we are receiving few uh, answers. We will try to answer a few. Okay, so we encourage you to ask uh, questions. Uh, so Marco, uh, the first question is, so why do you expose certificates as uh, safety certificates? Because these certi uh, certificates confirm that our wheels are completely safe. Okay, so we do uh, require all the standards and uh, requirements for safety. Uh, so are uh, the products also compatible with uh, other machines? Uh, of course, the wheels we made according to standards and uh, tailored to the customers. Okay. So in the case uh, study, you pointed out 30% better performance uh, under unchanged uh, circumstances. Can we achieve better results with other optimization? Yes, optim optimizations are always adapted to the application of grinding and with the set goals and agreement with the customers. I'm sure we, with the small changes on the test, we can the application improve. Okay, thank you. Uh, how long does the uh, joint testing take? What is the uh, application process? On the standard, we, we need one day or one shift that we can together uh, make the, the together check the results and uh, what we changed, uh, what we improve for the customers. Uh, but uh, it is necessary, it, we can test it all two or three days. It's not a problem. Okay, thank you. And the last question. So what is the purchase process? Can we buy directly from uh, Weiler? Uh, we use grains from uh, several pr producers uh, uh, that are currently the most uh, used uh, on the market now. Okay, so the, and the purchase process? Uh, we take one day. Um, uh, the purchase process, uh, uh, I can be directly uh, to Valer or with our partners on uh, on the field. Okay, thank you, thank you, Marco. 
So this is all regarding the questions and uh, answers. And for the finish, uh, I would like to invite you to our next webinar that will be in uh, two weeks. So on the 18th of uh, November, when we will talk about uh, large cutting wheels with Doris. And you will receive uh, an uh, information uh, in your inbox. Thank you very much for partici uh, participating today and I wish you a great day. Thank you and goodbye. Thank you. Goodbye.